one of the questions that we get a lot is, how do we know an electric car is right for our family? So here are five things that'll let you know that an EV is right for you. Number one, do you and your significant other commute fewer than 40 miles round trip to work each day? My daily commute is only about 34 miles round trip. Nobia drives about 28. That means on a full charge, either of us can easily drive Sparky to and from work and still have enough range to go shopping, visit friends and family, and handle any other surprises that might come up. Number two, are you a two-car family? If so, you can use the electric car for short and medium range trips and the gasoline powered car for longer distances. We usually park the gasoline powered car and use Sparky most of the time. But it's great to have that other car for those long trips to Canada to visit my family several times a year. And who knows, maybe someday we'll even be able to make the trip to Canada in an electric car as batteries become more powerful and infrastructure becomes more common. Number three, is there a place that you can install an electric charging station at your home? Some people put it in a carport inside their garage, but we have ours on a post next to our driveway so other electric car owners can use it even if we are not home. Sounds a little crazy, I know, but guess what? It costs so little to fully charge an electric car, less than $3 for 60 to 80 miles. We just don't care. And if we let EV owners use our station, chances are they'll let us use theirs too. Number four, is there charging infrastructure at your workplace? Many businesses, nonprofits, and government agencies allow their employees to charge for free while at work. Why not take advantage of it? It cuts your fuel costs even more. And number five, does your energy provider allow you to buy clean energy for your home? We've decided to pay a penny or so more per kilowatt for electricity from wind and solar. So we know our entire electric bill goes toward buying clean energy for the grid. That means when we're driving our electric car, we're cruising on wind and sunshine. You know, there's a lot more that you can learn about electric cars, but guess what? If we tell you everything, you don't get the chance to discover it for yourself. And that's half the fun. We hope you take your own electric road trip really soon. See you on the road.